Welcome to our lecture online. So now you have a big test coming up, an exam, a midterm, the final, or the JE advanced test. Whatever the test may be, there's a lot of pressure on you and what you do in the days in the last final moments or hours before the test. Well, this is what I recommend. First of all, do not just look at examples, but actually try to solve them. You don't have a lot of time left. And the, the tendency would be just to open the book or your notes and just look at the examples. The brain doesn't absorb well by just looking at examples, either in your text or in your notes or from the classroom or your homework, or maybe old finals that you or old tests that you have in front of you. Just looking at them is not the key. Actually solving the problems is. So instead of just looking at them, try to work the problems out by hand. And preferably, don't look at anything. Don't look at the way you did it before. Just put that away. Just read the problem, copy it down, and try to solve it again without looking at any notes or any cheat sheets or any equations or anything like that or at the book. Just see if you can do it without any help whatsoever. Two, continue to memorize. Don't stop trying to memorize. Spend time each day re-memorizing the things that you had memorized the week before. The brain tends to forget what you memorize, and by repeating the memorization process over and over again, even to the last day before the test, helps you hang on to those information, the information, the facts, the equations that you need to know in order to do well on the test. So just continue that process, spend a little time each day, just continue to memorize the things you should memorize. And don't memorize just by reading. Don't sit there and read a sheet of equations over and over and over again. It doesn't help that well. It helps to just turn the sheet over and just trying to write them down. Or just simply copying them is much better than just reading what's in front of you on a piece of paper. Just the fact that you're writing the equations down, you're recopying down over and over again. Or if you know them well enough, just turn the sheet over and try to, from memory, write down all the equations you should have memorized. And what's probably most important of everything is get plenty of sleep. I've seen plenty of my students during a final exam when it's so important to do well, they can barely keep their eyes open. You can tell they probably were up almost the entire night trying to study the last minute cramming. It just doesn't work. At that point, if you have just hours left and you're really tired, you're much better off taking a good nap or getting a good night's sleep before the test than trying to spend a few more hours studying. It's way better to have a, a, a brain that's been fully rested and is just ready to go. Even a nap before you take a test might be very helpful so that you're fresh. Now, of course, not immediately before, get a chance to wake up and get back, get back to it, but get plenty of rest. Don't show up at a test tired, it just doesn't work. It's like showing up for a race after you just did a really hard workout. You're not going to run well. Same with the brain, if it's tired, it's not going to perform well, so make sure you get rest and sleep. And if you have a little bit of time left, let's say it's the last day before the test, and instead of just sitting there wondering what am I supposed to do, take all the different type of topics that you're supposed to know and try to do one or two examples of each just as a last run through all of the material you're supposed to know. And don't try to work each problem out to the very end because that takes a lot of time, but just simply take a look at it, set it up, see if you remember the equation, and at least get to the point where you know the strategy of how to solve the problem. And then you realize, okay, I can solve the rest of that problem, then move on to the next problem. You don't have to work it all the way to the end. Just simply get enough to the point where you say, I know the concept, I recognize it, I know the equations I need, I know how to set it up, this is how I would solve it, and then move on to the next problem. In that way, you get the biggest bang for your buck, as they say. You get the most advantage out of studying, that last minute studying, where you can just kind of repeat every single concept just a little bit, so that when you get into the test, you just saw it the night or the day before. That's what I recommend. Again, don't sit there until 3, 4, 5 in the morning studying. If your test is at 8 o'clock that next morning, a disaster will await you. You just will not be able to think. And don't try to stay awake with taking no dose or drugs or caffeine or whatever. A little bit of caffeine before a test might help you stay a little bit more alert, but don't rely on it. It doesn't replace a good night's sleep. Those are my recommendations. And did I say sleep? Yes, I said sleep. Make sure you get enough sleep. And then good luck. Then you do the best you can at that point.